We're back. WWE 2K24 Pack Day Demastered Series 1. So it says Series 1, so I'm assuming it's when we'll get another one of these later on. I, I'll be honest, I don't know how I feel about these, this pack. I've kind of glanced at them a bit. Um, I don't know how I feel about any of the packs this year, to be honest with you. But we're going to go over them. We're going to do a review on them. Uh, it's probably going to be a fairly short video unless I start rambling. Uh, but anyway, one thing I do say about packs this year is I do think the packs, the pack themselves, look pretty cool. I do like what. I didn't mean to go to the token market. <laughs> anyway, I think the packs themselves look kind of cool. Um, maybe not. I mean, you know, they try to make them look like an old video game, so I get that. But like to me, like these boxes are the cool ones. When we get to that. I think that's kind of a cool look. Uh, but anyway, let's see what they got in them. Um, let's take a look at them. So, first things we want to do is we want to look at the pack odds, because pack odds have been screwy this year. So, let's let's take a look at those and uh, see what we think. So, so in this one, one thing you'll notice is there are no emeralds in these packs. So, you're looking at Sapphire, Ruby, and, and Amethyst. So, with the basic pack, you have a 16% chance 16% chance, so that's like 1 in 6, roughly, 1 in, do, 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 do. Yeah, one in 6, chance of getting a card from the Demastered, the Demastered packs. 12% um, for bronze, 23% for silver, and 49% for gold. So those are all going to be Superstar Series 1. So you know, if you have 16% chance, that means you have an 84% chance of getting a Superstar Series 1 out of the packs, which is terrible. It's terrible odds, terrible odds. Terrible odds. The price, I didn't look at the price. Let's look at the price real quick. Compare it to um, these. So it's basically the same price as this, this sig the Singlet Supreme. <laughs> I got tongue tied twisted there. So the deluxe pack, well, let's let's look at this. This one is, this one is look at the pack odds. So let's look back at it. So 10, 4, and 2. 10, 4, and 2. The basic pack. And, and in the previous packs, these have been different. These have been different odds. So, 10, 4, and 2. So, these have the same odds there. I don't know... Yeah, it's pretty much the same odds. Yeah, it's the same odds. Which is good. They, they, they were messing with these for the last few packs. And I think that's a travesty. Because, you, you know, if I buy a 10 pack of basic, or I buy a 1 pack of basic, I expect the same odds in both of those packs. Makes sense. If I buy a deluxe pack or a 10 pack or a 20 pack, I should get the same odds for the cards in those two packs. In those packs. I'm buying one, I buy 10. You know, you, you get a discount. They're cheaper if you buy 10. So, I mean, that, that's the that's the catch. That's why you should, I mean, or you buy 20. So, that's, so but you should have the same odds. Odds should not be different in these packs. I mean, obviously, between the basic and the, and the deluxe, I get it. They should have different odds, but between between those, they should be the same. And so far, with the basic and the basic 10-pack, they're the same. So that's good. That's an improvement, in my opinion, um, to what they've been doing. So flex packs. So 18, and f 18, 9, and 4. So that's, what, 22, 31. So 31% chance. So one in, th one in three chance of getting a mastered. Um, so let's look at the other 7, 14, 40. I, I, I can't remember numbers. Uh, <laughs> it's very long. So 18, 9, and 4. So 18, 9, and 4. 18, 9, and 4. 18, 9, and 4. So see, this is how packs should be as far as the odds. I mean, I, I, the odds are a bit low on the Amethyst. I'm, st I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say I still think the Amethyst odds are a little low. A little low, but at least the odds are consistent across the packs. Uh, so that one was what 7, 13, and 49. 7, 13, and 49. 7, 13, or 7, uh, 7, 14, and 49. So it's a little bit different there. A little bit less chance of a gold. I don't love that, but I don't think anybody, nobody buys these packs winning Super Search Series 1 cards anyway. So if you get a Super Search Series 1 card in these packs, you're probably disappointed anyway. So whether you have a one percent chance less of the gold, I don't know if anybody really cares, but it should be consistent. Uh, I still so we're gonna knock we're gonna knock them a little bit for that. Um just because, you know. 
So, the thing that I hate about these packs, the thing I hate about these packs, and we'll show you, you haven't looked at them, there are five cards. Five cards. So, last year, most of the packs had either 20 or 25 cards. You had some with 15. I don't know that you had, I don't know if we had any with 10 or not, I can't remember. I think 15. But usually the, usually the less cards you have in a pack, the worse packs were for me. Because, you know, you just get a lot of dupes. You just end up with a lot of junk. Especially with these. You know, if it was just the five cards and you opened the packs and you didn't have the superstars in it. Because to me, having the superstars in here is, one, not a good thing for people that buy packs. And two, it's kind of lazy. Kind of lazy. I'm just going to throw that out. I mean, it's pretty lazy to, to just throw those in there to try to beef up the packs. Um, all five of the cards are personas, if you care about that. I don't know that I care about that. If the characters look like these thing, the, the stuff on the cards, I don't really care for that either, I'll be honest. Uh, was it like 32-bit? 64-bit. Like, well, I'm assuming they're trying to make the 64-bit. So they're doing it off of one of the older games, but so 64-bit, uh, you know, whatever. <coughs> But, let's look at the cards. Now, I did kind of glance at these earlier. I, it, I do like the fact, I mean, it's kind of neat that the card actually, like, especially the back of it looks like a cartridge slot. Well, the front does too. That's kind of okay. That's kind of a neat thing. Um, I don't know that I really want pixelized characters. I, again, I kind of liked the Lily last year, because it was different. I don't even necessarily mind the figure ones, but I feel like these are kind of lazy-ish. But, I mean, at least they're doing something. But there's only five of them. Well, there's six, I guess, because there's a collection report, too, which we'll get into. Uh, but there's only five in the packs. Now, this card right here, this Asuka, is... It, it's a really nice... I mean, it's a pretty nice card for what we've seen so far this year with the badges. You have you have Gold Sting like a bee, you have Heavy, heavy Handed in a Tier 2, and you have Merciless in a Tier 2. So, you know, you've got pretty much the Trinity there that we have not seen... I don't know if we've seen the Trinity on any cards this year. At least, uh, maybe in some of the collection reward, later collection rewards, but in, uh, in to, up to the Amethyst tier, I don't think we've seen any of that in there. She also has a wet blanket. So, this is a pretty nice card. Um, probably, probably, probably one of my favorite, probably, probably with the badges, one of my favorite cards this year. Um, but you only have like a, even if you buy the Deluxe, you only have a 4% chance at it. So, good luck with that. Paybacks, resiliency. You know. Okay, whatever. 85 or over. That's weird. Okay, so then we have Raquel. I just they look kind of weird, but. And she does not have the Trinity, but she does have a Sting Like a Bee in a tier 4 and a tier 3 heavy handed. Unscathed. Which is okay if you're, you know, that's give you give you a few more bonus MFP. It's only a tier two, but you get a few more MFP if you hover in there and she doesn't get taking any damage um, or much damage. Always see it coming. I I like always see it coming. Um, that's that's a badge I really like. So pretty decent card, especially for a ruby. Uh, payback resiliency. I'm like, what? We're getting resiliency on cards now? That's crazy. Um, so Xavier. See, so we go from an 86 to an 84 to an 80 to a 76 to a 75. It's, it's just a weird, it's just a weird pack. So, and, and this goes downhill really quick here. So we got, we do have a tier 2 thing like a B. We have a tier 4 Rival Rouser, so 4 taunts. And we have Rage. So, and, and they're going downhill pretty quick. Then we have a Roman Reigns. Our first Sapphire. And we've got Sting Like a Bee on Tier 3, Slippery Hill. So to me, this one's probably better than the Xavier Woods. It's, it's probably a toss-up, because that one does have Rebel Roger, but it takes four taunts. Um, this has a better Sting Like a Bee. I don't know. It just depends. Power of the Punch. Yeah. yeah. What did Xavier have? I don't remember looking. Did I not look? I don't think I did. Move Thief. Okay. 
So then we have a Mitchin. So good old Mia Yim here. And she has Sting Like a Beast here too. Lionheart. Which I'm, I'm not that I'm not a big fan of Lionheart to be honest with you. Never ever have been to be. It's just kind of one of those it's a badge. I never really pay much attention to it. And Pain Train, it's a gold, which is okay. Yeah, it's okay. Then, for payback, come back. I, I don't understand this payback cannot be used in multi man matches. That's just weird to me to have a. And I think I may have mentioned this before. It's weird to me to have a payback, the only payback on the card that you cannot use in multi man matches. I don't know, it just seems odd. <laughs> And then we got superstars. So I actually hate these packs because I only have five cards in them. Um, just not a big fan. Not a big fan. Uh, but let's look at the collections. And we have how many five cards? So if you get the Raquel, the Xavier, and the Asuka, you get. See the Oscar. Oh, I can't do it here. You get the Bianca, and then if you get Roman and Mitchin, you get a cosmetic. And then let's see. Rewards. Where am I? Where am I going here? Ah, oh, there we go. Card details. Um, so the Bianca. I mean, gold thing like a bee. Pain train. Okay. Endurance. Eh. Eh. Uh, dive bomber. Kind of. Kind of. I'm kind of indifferent to dive bomber. I always kind of have been. Uh, cause I don't use high flyers a whole lot. Or, I mean, I know she's not a high flyer, but I don't use. I don't usually use the ropes a whole lot. So. Slippery Eel. So, I mean, it's okay card. I think the Asuka is better, personally. Um, Asuka is 186 compared to the 87. So anyway, that's the packs. Um, I don't know. I, I would Then we have these events. So let's go look at the live events. We do use some events for it. So we did get the boss battle, the big throwback. So you have to get the Raquel um, versus uh, Bianca. So and then you wait to Stacy Keebler and some packs. Um, Stacy Keebler. I'm going to look at it because I doubt I'll get the card. Uh, all the answers. I mean, I've never been a big fan of all the answers. I'm like stunned on, on reversals. I mean, I think you get a little bit of stun anyway, but I'm, it, it shouldn't be your main course of stun. I always see it coming as great, though. Again, I, that's that's one of the badges I absolutely love. So you can like be, that's a pretty decent card. It does have resiliency. So, there's that. Uh, then we have a re reality check, Austin Theory, uh, 1000 MFP, and then Tiffany Stratton. Triple threat match. I hate triple threat matches in this version of the game, but you know, I think I think I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a couple of packs here. I'm gonna open. I think I have a basic. That's the basic I got today for the five day login. So we're gonna open that real quick. Superstar Series One, and cool. Got two new cards. We'll take them. And I think. Oh God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to waste my MFP. It's hard to come by for me this year. But I do want to open a couple of these because I'm kind of curious. Kind of curious. Um, basically, packs, man. I'm not going to take a 16% chance at it. I'm just not going to do it. Not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So, let's try one of these. Open it now. So, no, Oscar. Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. I was wrong. There was an Oscar. <laughs> it was just the wrong Oscar. Uh. 
Why do, how do I do that to myself all the time? How? How do I do that? How? Ugh. Oh. Yeah, the cosmetic and it's probably... Ugh. Bronze. Gosh. Alright. I'd like to get one of these cards. That's all I really want. It's just one. I'd like to get one, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh! Is that the Oscar? The cosmetic. That, 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 there's a logo. That has to be the Oscar, doesn't it? Because the rubies would not glow. Oh! Well, I didn't think the rubies would glow. Okay. Well, there's the Raquel. So, that's surprising. Did not ex I don't know. I'm confused. I thought the, I thought usually only the top cards glowed. So that's puzzling. I mean, I guess this is the second card in the back. I don't know. I'm puzzled. But cool. We're gonna. End it. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do any more there. I just. I really just wanted one of the cards. I would love to have the Oscar because I like Oscar. I like I like Oscar cards a lot, and that's a really good card. But I can now do the big throwback. So or try to do the big throwback. We'll see. So get me a Keebler. Do we have a key? I don't know if I, I don't have a Keebler this year, I don't think. Keebler cards are always nice too. They're really they're usually really good every year. So and again, no not my favorite badges, but you know what? It's an amethyst. I'll take it. And uh Well I mean if I can if I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question always this year with badges. But anyway, I, I've kind of rambled. I expected this to be a little bit shorter than it is. You know, we'll, uh, eh. I mean, I don't, uh, I'm not, I mean, it was okay. Uh, <laughs> I still hate the packs because there's only five cards in it. And it has Superstar Series 1 in it. But, you know. Anyway, anyway, appreciate you joining us, and we will see you next time.